All right, everyone. So for today's uh, one of today's first topics that uh, we're going to talk about is uh, this website, this website and app called Trello. I'm going to show it to you first, and then we'll set one up. It's a free account, but once we start to get into this class, and we're going to talk about using Twitter and Facebook and all of that stuff, you're at a certain point you're going to feel like it's overwhelming, like I've got a lot to do, I've got to do Twitter, or I've got to do Facebook, I've got to do Instagram. Well, never mind for this class, but let's say you do get a job doing the social media for a company, or for yourself, you want to do the social media, and you want to manage it. So Trello is a good website that me and my company uses to keep track of all of that. It's, a, it's like a time management uh, website. It's an app also. So I'm going to show you up here how it looks like first and then we can create one together. So it's Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. We'll create one together in a moment, but the way it's set up is you've got these different boards, kind of like folders. So taking a look here, I have these different boards for these different clients. So myself and the other people in the company have access to this and then we are able to uh, go in and manage a particular client. So let's say this over here, Heart for the Military. These, these, um, these little boxes then, all of these lists are, are to-dos, are things that we need to do for the particular client. So notice there's a list called Set Up GoDaddy Server. And inside of that, there's a few tasks. There's install, conf install and Config WordPress, Install and Config Basic Plugins, Set Up Basic SEO, etc. So there's all of these tasks. And yeah, looking at all of this in its totality might be also a little overwhelming. Oh, I've got to do this, and I've got to do this, and do that. But depending how you are, depending how you work, this might be very useful because then you're going to organize yourself or this might just be even more effort or something that you don't want to do. But I'm going to introduce Trello in a moment uh, and I'm going to recommend that you use it for the class, especially because it's free. So um, let me go to another client just as an example. Let's see. Okay, this one, for example, has some parts about social media. This particular client, we are doing their Google+, Facebook, and Pinterest. Those are the three social networks that this client wanted us to do, This uh, or is paying us to do. So, for example, with Google+, we've got the goal of claiming the URL, editing the biography, editing the settings, working with collections, all of this stuff. So all of these goals within a particular list or category. And within a particular list, we can have sub-goals, like edit biography, six out of six items have been accomplished. Under settings, four out of six have been accomplished. So if I look at this one, edit biography, there might be a description, but uh, this is editing uh, the people, screen, the communities, story, etc., etc. Once all, all of those are done, the checklist is 100%. And then we labeled it completed. We have different colors, different labels for the different tasks. Uh, they can be set however you want. For whatever reason, our team decided that pink means completed. I would have rather chosen like uh, blue, that it's completed, but okay, pink is completed. Green is pending, red is important, that sort of thing. So a particular item is labeled. And then everyone that is connected to this um, company on Trello gets a notification. This is also the cool thing that I might be making myself notes on my own sheet of paper here, but I'm working with four other people. So unless everyone's looking at my piece of paper here, they don't know what I've done. So a website like Trello, we all create an account in the company we all connect each other, connect to each other within Trello, and therefore we can assign, for example, this task over here on Facebook, the basic setup is assigned to Patricia. So she has to do that by a particular deadline. We can assign deadlines also. 
So Patricia needs to work on that. Something is assigned to me, perhaps. Someone is assigned to Sharna or Chuck or some other one, some other person. We put labels. These are complete. All the pink ones are complete. This purple one is in progress. We can put uh, comments. So there's a comment over here about SMO advice as an example. We can add attachments. Stickers and emojis and such. So when you comment here, it will go straight to the social media? No, this is not for that. This is just to make sure everyone in the organization is following along. Oh. We're going to look at another website that will let us do that later on. This website where we post on that website and it'll automatically post for us on all the social networks. That's a little later. This one is just setting up so that everyone's following along. Everyone's on the same track and we're not lost. Yes? Exactly. So different people with their own account logging in, and they're not interfering with each other, and everyone's managing it. And on the side over here, it's going to tell you who logged in, who did what. Victor was very busy recently, so all of that shows up. So again, for some people, this is going to be really useful because, again, we've got these different clients. They're organized in different ways. What do we need to do for this particular client? There's a few tasks there. What do we need to do for this one over here? There's a lot of tasks there. None of them have been marked complete yet, but since we've gotten them all written down, this is our goal. These are what we're, this is what we're going toward, and then we can easily add more content to each list, a new card or a new goal, and then we can all accomplish this, these, these tasks. So again, this is free. There's a paid version that has extra features, but the, pay, the free version is totally fine for just about everyone. And there's also an app. I think it's for iPhone and Android, so you'll be able to have the app with you here, and you get alerts and such when it tells you, John updated the biography. Or, reminder, you need to do a, a tweet today. So you can set it up that way to remind you to keep you on track to have goals. So I'm going to show you here then uh, about creating an account. We should do this together. Uh, and then uh, it'll be optional for you to use in the class, but highly recommended. So if you haven't done so yet, you want to open a web browser. Go ahead and open any web browser, and we'll go to the address trello.com, trello.com. Let's go to trello.com. Trello is the free, flexible, and visual way to organize anything with anyone. And it goes on to tell you, for, here's an example, this is for building a kitchen, etc., etc. Lots of details. But we'll click here, sign up, it's free. To so click that big green button. It's going to ask you for a name, an email, and a password, and then create an account. You can log in with Google, but we'll just recommend to do it this way. So here, uh, you can use an existing email address that you have, put your name, put an email, put your password, and then click Create New Account. If you need any help, of course, let me know and I'll help you out, but take a moment to create an account. It's really fast. As long as you get to this point, you're okay, we'll, and then we'll move on in just a moment. You might need a little help. So you, can you assign our homework through here? Or something like that? I could, in theory, but we've already got Blackboard. Yeah. So. Um, that might be an interesting way to do it, though. I haven't, I had, I didn't quite think of it doing it that way for the class, but yeah, this is a way to do it too. Trello lets you assign things and organize things really easily, so um, I'll think about it. But definitely Blackboard is what we're using. 
All right, so it's going to tell me to confirm my email address. It won't give you all of the features until you confirm, but I think we'll be okay um, if you don't confirm just yet. So we get this main screen here when we log in. Um, your name's on the top right. That's where your log out button is at. If you click on your name up there, you've got a bunch of settings and such, and there's log out. There's a little bell with notifications. If someone else assigns something to you, or if something is due, it's going to be up in the notification bell. When you've got a lot of things on your on your Trello boards, you'll you'll really like the search feature at the top left. And then you've got my boards, and then create a new organization. So you can use Trello two different ways: one for personal, or one for professional. In this class, it doesn't matter which of the two that you used. But notice on, on the example of mine, I've got my boards which only I have access to. I'm only working on those projects myself. And then I've got an organization, PMD Interactive, where other people of my company are connected to and accessing these boards. So everyone then has access to these other companies. But only I have access to this one on my boards because it's only mine. So that's what Trello is showing us right here your boards, you've got a welcome board, create an organization. Let's take a quick look at the welcome board because it gives you an example of how to use Trello. Click on welcome board. And so the name of this board is called welcome board. If you want to change it to something else, you just click on it. Instead of welcome board, you can change it to my first board. So a board is just kind of like the folder where everything is at. You can just click on that name right there, Welcome Board, and change it if you want. Click Rename. And then on the right side, the notifications here, or this, this menu, it tells me Activity. Victor, rename this board. So I've got stuff, oh, stuff to try. This is a list. Tried it. This is another list. And then inside, this is a card. Drag it to the tried it to show it's done. This is another card with a little picture. So stuff to try, tried. If you want to rename these as well, Let's do that. This is stuff to try. I'm going to click on stuff to try and it's going to change it to to do list. These are the things I need to do. And then I can rename tried it into done. So anything that I need to do is in the particular to do list. Anything that I've done, anything that I've completed, I can then put into the done list like this this first card here, this to do. I'm just going to click it and drag it into done. So any way you want to use Trello is, uh, is valid. I'm making a list here of things I need to do and a list here of things that are done, so I'll drag it there because that's done. So let's say I just dragged it over. If you do click the pencil, you have various ways to edit it, but um, don't worry about that just yet. I just dragged it from the left side to the right side. So as an example of editing, on the left, I have one called Add All the Cards and Lists You Need. If I click on that pencil, I get a few quick editing tools, like adding a label, moving it around, copying it, adding a due date. So any of these little cards has a pencil. Or if you just click on the card itself instead of the pencil, I like this a little better because if you click on the card, it pops open like this to show you even more features. So it shows here 
this is the name of that. I can add a description, a comment, labels, all of that. So you see that difference? If you click on the pencil on any of these little cards, you get the quick edit. But if you click on the card itself, you get this full edit. So I can change any of these things. I won't change it yet, but I'm just showing that these particular items have even more detail to add to them. So there's plenty more I can do here. I would recommend on this board you look at the different items here yourself, but I want to do something else. Any questions so far though? Okay, let's say that whatever we're doing here on this on this first board, it's good. But I want to go back to the I want to go back to the top level. I want to go back to boards. So click on boards. Notice here this shows you all of the boards I currently have, and I can create a new one. So click on the word boards at the top left, and then click create a new board. And we can create and delete these very easily, but let's say we're going to create a new board for today's tasks. So we'll call this August 26 tasks. It tells me this will be private, so only you will have access to it, but you can change that to give other people access. This will be fine for the moment, so we will call this August 26 tasks, and then click Create. And now we're inside of the August 26 board. It tells you there on the top, you're in the August 26 board. And so there are two big ideas that I want to talk about today. One is Trello, which we're doing, and then one is the uh, marketing strategy. So I'm going to create a list here. Notice it already says add a list. If it doesn't say that, you know, if it looks like that, just click on add a list. And this list is going to be called Trello. Click Save. And then it'll say, okay, add another one. I'll call that one uh, Marketing Strategy. And click Save. Every time you click Save, this is one of the kind of weird things. You might like it, you might not. I'm kind of halfway on it. Every time you add something brand new on Trello, it wants you to add a new one. Like every time I add a brand new list and click Save, it'll say, okay, add another one, add another one. Well. At a certain point, I don't need to add any more. And later on, when we add some more cards, it's going to say, okay, you added a card. Add another one. Add another one. Add another one. So you just ignore that new one and click somewhere else, and it goes away. So I've got, I've got two lists. The whole thing is a board, a board for today's tasks. Then in each of these is a list. And then the list can have the different tasks, uh, cards. So on Trello, the Trello list, I want to add a card, and I'll call this what is Trello. Add how to um, set up Trello. Add how to use Trello is not a question. And again, I, those are the three things I want to do here, but it's going to keep asking me, add another one, add another one. Well, just click the little X or click somewhere else, and it stops. So my point here is I want to find out what Trello is, I want to find out how to set it up, and then I want to write how to use Trello. You can, of course, make these up any way that you want. You can ask them as questions, you can make them as to-dos or whatever, but I'm just showing you here we've got a question about what is Trello, and then maybe I need to specify a little bit more. 
So just click on that card, not the pencil, but click on the card, and it pops up like that. And this is where you can add a description. Well, if I'm working with another person, and they might say, well, what does this to-do mean? What does what is Trello mean? You can add a description. Find out what the Trello website and app is for. So now that card has a description, and if you notice, you can't see it on my projector because it cuts off, but there's a little icon here. There's a little icon of, of some sentences. So whenever there is a description, you're going to see an icon of sentences. Okay, so now you guys help me out, volunteers. In your words, what is Trello? Or what is it good for? Anyone? Why is it good? Why is it bad? What is it? I think I heard someone say it's... Keep control of your tasks. Keep control of your tasks. Perfect. Keep control of your tasks. Connected to all your social groups. Yeah, so I'm going to add that too. Keep connected to all your social networks. So I'm adding comments now. So I'm adding comments to this card. They get saved to the card. I can add as many as I want. I can go back to edit them, to delete them. I'm not limited to text. I can also add an attachment. So I can, add, I can upload a picture. I can upload right here on the attachment. I can upload a picture. I can upload a PDF. Maybe I've got a Trello board uh, about managing a, a client's social media and then the login information, I can add it as an attachment there so that it's securely saved on this account and everyone can log in and get the login information to that client. Um, it, we won't exactly be able to do it here, but notice this little at symbol, mention a member. If there are other people connected to this board, I can mention them so that they will get an email that says you've been mentioned, there's something waiting for you, so a notification. I can add some emojis, some icons, like this, thumbs up. So it's going to add a thumbs up when I comment. Trello is thumbs up. So I can use icons, the new language of the web, emoji. So at the top right of that little box, I can click the X, and then notice, notice how these icons have changed. There's a description. Notice you can hover and it tells you there's a description. Then this has three comments. Let's go in and add a few comments to the how to set up Trello. So click on that second card. I'll comment easy. Um, add your email and password. That's how you set up Trello. And then taking it a little bit further, again, if this is a big to do list manager, a, a project manager, well, I want to add labels um, for organization. So on the right side, we have add members, labels, checklists, etc. If I click labels, I have these different colors. 
And let's say that my items that are complete, I can choose green. And now this has got a green label. It shows up here also at a glance. And if you click the pencil, you can go further to give it a name such as complete. So you've got these built-in colors. If you want to edit anything about the color, you click the pencil, like maybe not that shade of green. You want a different shade of green. So instead of that purple, you could go in, um, change it. You can add more than one label. You can make it green and yellow for some reason if they have different meanings. Or you can just turn it off. So that particular card, I gave it the green label, the complete label, so I can close it, and then I can see here at a glance um, that's got the complete label. Now that I've shown you that, you can try to add the complete label to your previous card as well. Remember we also have the pencil. Maybe that'll be a little quicker if you click on a pencil, edit label, green. So either way to edit your cards, the quick pencil, edit label, add a label, or clicking on the card and it gives you the full screen edit. That's right. They just create the free Trello account. Yes. So here, if I have someone else's email address, you know, com, and they have a Trello account, then they will get an in, they will get a notification that says, you know, you're being added to the Trello account. It says here that there is no account like that, so it won't work. Um, but um, when they do create their account and you add them here, then they'll have access to the project. Let's see, uh, one more thing. Okay, so we've added descriptions, we've added comments, another thing that's really useful. So in a sense, you can think of these as the to-do list items. But sometimes you need to be a little more complex. So look, let's look at this one. I'm going to go to edit the how to use Trello. I'm going to click on that one to edit the card. And then notice it has on the side here checklist. So you can add like a checklist inside of a card. So sort of like a checklist in a checklist if you want to get that complicated. Because I can say everything related to the answer of how to use Trello is a bunch of little steps, which are then steps of the whole Trello task. So if I click on checklist, you can give it a name. I usually keep a checklist. So click checklist, click add, and now I can start adding checklist items. So how to use it, we've got create a board, add. We've got um, add a list, add cards. And then I'm done. So now there's three check marks, check boxes, and the icon on the left over here shows now that I've got the icon there on the on the left shows that I've got zero out of three tasks complete. And once I start checking these, I did create a board. So this goes up. You'll see a little progress bar. You'll see that it gets crossed out. And then you'll see that the number on the card now says there's one out of three complete. So see that? I've, uh, 
I've created I've done those I'm working on add cards I've added a label I've chosen orange doesn't matter but I've chosen orange and I've and I've called it my in progress label and then so when other people on my team log in they'll see okay that one's orange in progress let me complete it or if you're the only person working on this then of course this is a way for you to see your own progress at a glance two completes one in progress so again backing up this is how we do it in my company we've got the boards for the different clients I can go into a particular client there's all of these tasks but once you start to organize them and you start to see all your lab labels that tell you complete that's a good feeling you start to see that all of these tasks that you had that's done that's done that's done that's done Ooh, that's red what do we do about that one um, purple so these haven't been started yet but we have at least a goal these have been completed over here this hasn't been started and etc so you can use this for this class notice this has a deadline or had a deadline July 1st you should uh, you should be able to figure out how to add deadlines it's going to be inside of this screen somewhere somewhere but um, once you add deadlines and such then it'll be a lot easier to get things done and if you add other people to your team that also is helpful and so for this particular class I'll be touching on this on different days I wanted to show it to you right now because it is useful it's free you can get the app you can get all your team members onto it it's not going to be any homework or required but you might want to use it and maybe you don't maybe you like it and you don't use it for this class use it for something else maybe you've got a term paper to work on you know I can go back over here create a new board and call it you know term paper what are all of the things that I need to do to get this term paper done I need to research the topic I need to gather books blah 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 I can use Trello in a variety of ways just to keep track of to-do lists to-do items It can be as simple or as complex as you want. So, any questions on Trello? How will, how will you add another task, you say? Let's see, back on the August 26 tasks? You mean another task like uh, inside of the Trello one? or like, uh, another date. Another what? Another date, like August 27. Okay, so if you go back to the word Trello, back to the very top, like that, then what you're going to be doing is creating a new board. Oh. So just click on new board and you've got a new date. You can also do it by clicking on the boards on the left and then clicking create new board. Oh. Alright, any other questions? Okay, let's, uh, let's take a break and when we come back then we'll talk about the uh, marketing strategy lecture and assignment. So it's 5.55, we'll do 10 minutes, we'll be back at uh, 6.05, and then we'll go on.